Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Isaiah Warlock here, back at it again with another tutorial. This video is going to be a tutorial on how to sound like Ollie Sykes of Bring Me The Horizon. Now, I have been a huge fan of Bring Me The Horizon for several years, and Ollie Sykes may be I don't know if he's my favorite vocalist of all time. He's definitely one of them. And uh, he's definitely one of the most talented vocalists out there. So in this video, we are going to be breaking down his vocal technique. And I'm going to be showing you how he sings and how he screams with that cool Ollie Sykes style grit that he has. How to get that technique and how to use it properly to sound like Ollie Sykes. Like you just heard in the intro, that was a little cover thing I did of um, Shadow Moses, one of my favorite songs of theirs. But once you learn this technique, you'll be able to cover really well any of their songs, um, but also, you know, make your own music if you want to do uh, Ollie Sykes style vocals. Here you go. So that's what we're going to do today. Just real quick before we jump into it, please consider subscribing. It's free. You can unsubscribe whenever you want, so you might as well, and it helps me out a whole lot. Also, a huge percentage of the people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you do enjoy my videos, just don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so for a long time, I was actually really confused about um, how Ollie Sykes was doing his vocals. Um, because he does a lot of different sounds, but you can kind of tell that he has one, basically one technique um, for his distortion, the way he distorts his voice. He has kind of one way that it sounds. It's not like he's using different kinds, but at the same time, he's singing and doing notes. Um, and then he's also screaming in different parts, but it's clear that he's using the same technique for both So which technique can actually do that and sound good in both of those areas and some people might say fry A lot of people are gonna be saying that Ollie Sykes uses fry and he actually doesn't use fry He uses glottal compression. Now, there's a big debate on the internet about this and I'll talk about this a little bit But a lot of people confuse glottal compression with fry and they do sound very similar but um, they both have really different sort of limitations and they both feel really differently when you're when you're actually doing them. I talk about Fry in a lot of my videos. Fry is really good. It's really useful for a lot of different things. But to get this amount of power and this versatility that Ollie Sykes has, glottal compression is really the way to go. It's also it's also what sounds like it the most. Like when you hear him, if you know what glottal compression sounds like, it's very clear that he's doing glottal compression. If you haven't listened to a ton of screaming yet or you're not really into it that much, a lot of different screams and a lot of different styles of vocals can sound very similar. But um, I've been doing vocals for a few years and I've been teaching vocals and uh, listening listening to a lot of vocals. Yeah, it's pretty clear to me that Ollie Sykes is using glottal compression. I used to think he was using Fry and I used to try to like sound like him with Fry, but it would never really sound like him. It would sound stupid. Um, but now that I have glottal compression and I can do it properly, uh, I can do a lot of things that really do sound like Ollie Sykes. And of course, um, Jordan Fish in Bring Me The Horizon also does some vocals. I believe he mainly uses glottal compression as well, but we're not gonna re we're not really gonna be talking about Jordan Fish's vocals. This video is mainly to focus on Ollie Sykes, the lead singer of the band. But yeah, Jordan Fish does do some fairly similar techniques as well when he's um, when he's doing his singing parts in the band. So yes, glottal compression. What is glottal compression? Well, if I was to do just a, a just a basic scream with glottal compression, it would sound like this. <laughs> And that's probably clipping, so let me- I'll turn down the gain so you guys can hear that better. So now, how do you do this technique and how do you control um, what pitch you're doing and, and how to- and bringing in pitch and taking out pitch? To start with, just the distortion by itself, you can get it from a few different ways. Um, the, the easiest way to start making the sound is to start with a whisper, like this. Like an H sound. Okay, and then you're gonna compress that and you're gonna make it like an angry whisper. I'll, I'll explain compression a little bit more in a second, but just imagine that you're whispering and now you're, you're making like an angry whisper sound. You see, so it's just like you're, you're making whisper and then you're like just making it a little bit more angry sounding. Okay, that's the, that's the sound when it's small. And do not confuse this with fry. People are gonna think that this sounds like fry. It does sound like a little bit. But remember, fry sounds like this. Okay, so you really gotta hear the difference there. This is fry. And this is glottal compression. 
okay? A lot of compression is, is in that state at least a little bit louder and it's more pushed, it's more compressed. So what is compression? I'll explain how to compress something, but I'll explain it by showing you um, another way to get glottal compression, which is to start with a sound that's a bit louder. So, so basically what compression is, is that you're bringing air into your lungs and you're compressing that air like, like, a, like a compressed tank of gas. Um, and then when you let some air out, it comes out like really high pressure. And that's what kind of allows you to rattle. Basically what you're doing is you're rattling around your glottis in your throat, I believe that's what it's called. That's why it's called a glottal compression, your epiglottis, I think. And that's what kind of makes the glottal compression sound. And your glottis, glottis will um, rattle basically due to the high pressure air. And so you want to get this high pressure air. So how do you do that? You bring in air into your lungs, then you shut off your vocal your vocal folds, okay? You have vocal folds in your throat, and to shut them off, you do this. Huh. Like you're lifting up something heavy. Huh. Okay? Huh. They shut off like that. Now, once they're shut off, you use your diaphragm, which is down here, right? Under your ribs. Um, now, basically, you're using your diaphragm. You're, you're basically using your diaphragm and your, like, ab muscles. I think it's mainly your ab muscles that's gonna like push on your diaphragm and all this, just basically everything, your diaphragm, your abs, everything down here, you're gonna flex it and that's gonna push up on your lungs. And that way, since you can't come out at the top, it's like being compressed in your lungs. So you go in, shut off. Now just flex your abs and push really hard. See, now the air is compressed and it actually takes a toll on your abs. This will give you abs. This will give you a six pack. I promise you, if you do this enough, it's so hard on your abs after you do it for a long time. Now you're going to push on the air and then start letting a little bit of air out of your mouth. Okay. Like start making a little bit of a sound once you've compressed it. Remember, step one, push. Okay, and now you're starting to get the sound. Now what you can do is try to do those and then try to yell, okay? So first try yelling on its own. You know, everybody can yell. Hey! 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 Okay, I'm gonna try to do that um, after having done some compression. So, hey! 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 And now you see, now you have the glottal compression. Okay, so once you get used to making that sound, uh, there you've got the technique there. So now it's just a matter of practicing it. Now that's basically um, a pitchless scream. So if you want to do just regular screams, you can use, you can do it like that. And yeah, glottal compression is better in my opinion for mids. But yeah, once you can do that, it's just a matter of practicing it um, so that you can do these screams. Now here's the question of how to do it um, in a pitched way. Well, basically what I would suggest if you want to do a, a song that's kind of like Bring Me The Horizon does, where they have a, a melody and they're kind of sing screaming it. What I would suggest is just a practicing singing the song without screaming it. Because if you can't actually sing the song um, just like cleanly, then you won't be able to scream it well. Like you really have to be able to sing it really good before you can implement this technique. Okay, well, that is how you sound like Ollie Sykes or Oliver Sykes of Bring Me The Horizon. I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, if you have any other artists and uh, vocalists that you want to do tutorials for, uh, drop them down in the comments. I have a few more coming soon. Uh, well, I don't know what order they'll come in. I'm filming a few of them right now, but we'll see. But yeah, I've got more coming soon. If you have any more you want, drop them down in the comments. Um, thank you so much for watching. As I said, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, check out my music here on my channel and also on Spotify. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, here's my Instagram and on TikTok. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Isaiah Warlock and goodbye. Surprise! <laughs>